Rife machines for Lyme disease, radio frequency versus audio frequency. The history of the use of audio frequencies in modern Rife machines dates back to the 1950s when John Crane was working with Royal Rife. This was of course prior to the epidemic of Lyme disease, but this is still vital information to be aware of when considering a Rife machine for Lyme disease. We now know that Crane used a simplified device starting in the 1950s for easy and cheap development. These audio-only generators were widely available and very cheap. These cheap Rife machines required very little modification for direct contact use with conductive metal electrodes. Also, these Rife machines, as history has shown us, were never nearly as effective as the 1930s machines. The earlier Rife machines all used a unique combination of a radio frequency wave pulsed by audio frequencies. It was that unique combination of high and low frequencies that effectively killed the microorganisms. Why then have these machines, these audio-only Rife machines, become the most common machines? These are the least expensive machines to design and build, so they end up also being the least expensive for you to purchase. This makes them a very common commodity, but unfortunately doesn't make them any more effective. These have done more to tarnish the reputation of Rife machines on the whole than anything else. The ironic part is that even though the notion of you get what you pay for does hold true, these are not useless machines. They seem to deliver some short-term benefit and sometimes more. They likely work on an entirely different effect than the one demonstrated by Royal Rife in the 1930s. Rife proved that a pathogenic microbe could be killed with an otherwise harmless pulsed radio frequency wave. Originally, Royal Rife used a unique combination of a specific radio frequency wave pulsed with a lower audio frequency. It wasn't just an audio frequency. It wasn't just a radio frequency. Rife's special frequency combination made a unique waveform. It was not just a simple square wave either. In fact, in the 1930s, electronic technology hadn't been invented yet to run a square wave. Royal Rife figured out that radio frequencies had the capability to kill pathogenic bacteria, such as spirochetes, which cause syphilis. A similar spirochete bacteria is known to cause Lyme disease. This makes a radio frequency generator a perfect Rife machine for Lyme disease. Interestingly, recent discoveries indicate a special mathematical code was used to hide Rife's kill frequencies. It was the relationship between the radio frequency carrier wave and the lower audio frequency pulse in the Rife machine that was designed for commercial production and sold briefly in 1938. It wasn't just audio frequencies. It wasn't just radio frequencies. It had to be both for the Rife machine to work. Only a handful of these machines were ever made and the mathematical relationship was kept secret by Royal Rife's partner, which he took to the grave. One of these machines was recently found and the secret has been back-engineered. While you're considering a Rife machine for Lyme disease, you can get all the historical Rife frequencies and additional insight on choosing a machine, the newest frequencies, and more in my Rife reports and articles on rifesecrets.com. This is Joshua Parker, and I want to thank you for watching this video. Visit Rife Secrets for more of the latest information on Royal Rife technology.